Creating subtitles does not need to be a tedious task. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create these fantastic AI subtitles that you see on screen using both DaVinci Resolve Studio and Submagic. I'm gonna be putting these two incredible softwares head to head to figure out what's perfect for you and your AI subtitles. My name's Dan and you're watching Dan Vinci. This video is very kindly sponsored by Submagic. So we're gonna cover off DaVinci Resolve first. So here I have a test clip and what I wanna to do to generate the subtitles is first click I on your keyboard and go over to the end of the clip and click O on your keyboard. So then what you wanna do is go over to timeline in the top left corner just here, then scroll down to create subtitles from audio, click on this and you'll get this little panel right here. Here you have several controls. You can certainly go in and change the language, for example, you know, I'm gonna just select English and I'm gonna just reduce this down to 10 characters per line. Then all you need to do is click create. This little loading panel will show up and then immediately disappear because DaVinci Resolve is so amazing at generating subtitles. It doesn't need to show you its loading bar. <laughs> that was fast. Then we will have, this is a test clip to test out the AI generated subtitles in both DaVinci Resolve Studio and Submagic. It's already very, very close. In the inspector tab in the top right corner, click this guy right here. You can then control all of the controls for the subtitles on that track, or alternatively, whichever one you've got selected, you can make changes to that particular subtitle. It jumps to and far too early, so I'm just gonna adjust that here. Other than that, it's got it pretty close. And to be honest with you, you could leave it like that. That could be it. Maybe that is it. Maybe you don't need me anymore. And this video ends here. But, and there's a but. Have you ever heard of Submagic? Now to keep this brief so that I don't go off on some random tangent and sound like a giant advert, Submagic is a really, really cool and powerful AI tool that basically does the exact same thing that you just saw with Dimitri Resolve, only it adds a layer of complex... Only it adds a layer of complexity, got there in the end, whereby it adds really cool emojis and it actually knows what you're saying, which is a bit creepy, but you'll see what I mean and it's cool. That's, that is cool. All you need to do is click on upload here, then drag over your clip that you want. There you go, there's the clip that we had in DaVinci Resolve. And what we're gonna do is click generate captions. Now already this is slower at generating the captions, but it's doing far more. Just waiting, hydrating. You are a poet. Right, so once Submagic has finished processing the clip, you'll be greeted with this panel. And all of these are individual fonts and styles, and you can obviously just change the colors if you want. This is a very common style, this Leon, that I see all over TikTok, so I'm gonna select that one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this green, and let's see what that looks like. All right, so this is a test clip to test out the AI-generated subtitles in both DaVinci Resolve Studio and Submagic. Already it knows how to show the clip emoji, the robot emoji for AI, clapperboard for DaVinci Resolve. How's it done that? That's pretty cool. Yeah! And of course, in the unlikely event that Submagic somehow gets your word wrong, because it just hasn't in this, you can scroll through and make changes. So if I want to put DaVinci Resolve 19, for example, I can do that. And of course, that section of DaVinci Resolve 19 will be highlighted. This is really impressive, actually. Most impressive. So on your screen right now are the best finished products that I could create, in my own opinion, using both DaVinci Resolve Studio and Submagic. All right, so this is a test clip to test out the AI-generated sub subtitles in both DaVinci Resolve Studio and Submagic. I think Submagic is perfect for those who are looking to become a creator but don't have a great deal of experience. It's just a baby. And don't want to dish out a huge amount of money for DaVinci Resolve Studio, for example, and learning all of its complexities. Now, I don't have enough time to cover off every feature in DaVinci Resolve Studio when it comes to subtitles and Submagic. But to list off a few features real quick, Submagic provides AI description and hashtags. It can quickly generate the stuff that you need so you don't have to write it all. This is the pinnacle of laziness, but it just shows how fantastic Submagic is at helping you create content. Do you think I'm lazy? Now, I think what DaVinci Resolve Studio has over Submagic, if you're looking to not necessarily get Submagic, you can make changes much more precisely. And what I mean by that is if there's a particular section of the video that you want to cut out, it's much easier and more user-friendly in the timeline than it is necessarily on the site right here. You can trim things in the trim tab right over here. It's not as precise as DaVinci Resolve. Obviously, DaVinci Resolve is a dedicated editing software, but Submagic can get you by if 
all you need to do is do some simple trimming. I think using DaVinci Resolve for the actual editing part of creating the video and then using Submagic for the subtitles and any other social assets that you need will ultimately create a better outcome than either one of these services provide solo. At the end of the day, Submagic saves you time. And if that's something that you're after, it's completely <laughs> worth it. Hell yeah, man. But otherwise, that's the end of the video. Big, big thank you to Submagic for sponsoring today's video. I'll leave links in the description if you want to check them out. I think some of you will actually find this service pure gold. Let me know what you think. My name's Dan, you've watched Dan Vinci, and I'll see you in the next one. Ow.